I'm just going to show you how to get paint, clear paint off of uh, canisters or jars. If you have a jar and the, it's a painted glass instead of a blown glass and the color was applied after market, um, this is how you can get it off. Um, there's lots of different products. Strippies is one of the brands that you can use. It will remove paint, varnish, lacquer, shellac, anything like that. Usually I do this outside, but it's winter, and I have snow in my backyard, so I really don't want to do that. Um, but this is a quick project. Normally I use a brush, but like I said, I'm just being lazy today, and just I don't have a ton I need to remove. So basically, you just paint the strippies um, on, and you let it sit. And then it will start to bubble. I think you can kind of see it's it's bubbly. And then um, you'll take. I use gl always wear gloves, um, and I use a um, washcloth with warm water, and I just wipe it off. But usually, um, you use a scraper when you're doing this with furniture. When I'm removing paint off of furniture, but as you can see, just using this little sponge thing. Um, I'm just wiping it off. It's the sponge is definitely falling apart. I had better days because the strippies will actually eat it and break it down. But um, if you just use a paper towel and wipe it down, I'm just avoiding touching it as much as I can, even with the gloves. But um, anyway, you can see I'm just wiping it off, and it's just wiping, wiping off. And that's the quickest, easiest way. I mean, you can use hot water and just kind of scrape it with your a scrubby of some kind. But um, this is so much faster and easier. And make sure you got, I mean, my window's open and I had my hood fan on um, and off for my stove. Um, but I turned it off to make the video. So anyway, let me just wipe this down and let you see. It looks more like that. I haven't finished that yet. It's still got a couple more, a little bit on the places where it's stuck, but it'll it'll just wipe off, and then you just have to reapply it to the places where it's stuck, and then it will come off, and you'll end up with a, a cute jar set. Well, you'll end up with whatever you're doing, but this is a, a triple jar, um, jar set, and I already had one that's in between and I found these at a second hand store. The one I have is clear and it has marbles in it. And so I wanted to put different colored marbles in these as well um, and different sizes and shapes just because my kids like to pull them out and make shapes on the floor. So um, check out my blog. The secret is gratitude.com for before and after pictures. And um, like I said, usually I do this outside. I'll lay down newspaper and then I will um, paint all of them and then I'll just come back through with a washcloth and of course I wouldn't use rip gloves once I use the water in that but I'm um, just since I was applying it my glove ripped and I didn't worry about it because this side's fine but wear gloves all the time because this will burn your skin and it's toxic do well ventilated usually outside and then I'll use a, scrubber, a scraper to scrape it off of a flat surface but I don't want to scrape the paint, so that's why I'm just kind of doing it this way. And then, you know, wash it with the warm water and, and uh, washcloth, and then um, just reapply it to the places where it needs to come off a little bit more. And then pretty soon, it's pretty quick. As you can see, I'm just wiping it, and it's coming off. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com. And on the bottom of the home page, there's a search box. Just type in removing paint from jars or something, paint in jars, or strip, stripping, strippies. Any of those kind of things will help you get to this post, and you can see the before and after pictures. Thanks.